Speaking of which, here's a showdown. Privacy is more important than your net worth. That was the Indian Supreme Court's message to Facebook. It was hearing a petition challenging WhatsApp's new privacy law. Early indications are that the court will not tolerate Facebook's attempt to mine user data. Elsewhere in Australia, Google is toning down its rhetoric. It has decided to partner with the media company and pay for news. They're doing it in Australia. Governments clearly are finally pushing back against tech giants. But is this the great reckoning or a small rap on the knuckles? Our next report tells you. A modern day gilded age is unfolding before us. But this time, there is no gold rush, no railroad expansion. Instead, we are the engines of growth. Not human labor or intellect, human privacy is the new rush. Every mouse click of yours, every Google search is invaluable for new age companies. And what better place to extract this data than social media? Late last year, WhatsApp unveiled a new privacy policy in India. User data would be shared with Facebook. If you wanted to stay on WhatsApp, you had to say yes. There was immediate pushback from Indian users. WhatsApp was forced to delay the new policy and the matter reached the Indian Supreme Court. Monday was day one of the trial. The top court bench headed by India's Chief Justice did not mince words. And I quote, you may be two or three trillion companies, but people value their privacy more than money. It is our duty to protect their privacy." Unquote. The Chief Justice raised the biggest concern of Indian WhatsApp users, that when two people message each other, their circuit of texts will be shared with Facebook. The defence rejected these allegations, calling them misinformation. Another key issue raised in the hearing was that of differential treatment. WhatsApp has a much tighter privacy policy in Europe but shares Indian user data at will. Why the double standards? It is technical, says WhatsApp. Europe has a special law protecting user data. India doesn't. WhatsApp interprets this as a free pass. As long as there are no restrictions, it will continue mining user data. The top court has issued a notice to Facebook and WhatsApp and the trial will resume after four weeks. WhatsApp's new privacy policy is part of a larger trend. Tech giants are testing countries. They're exploiting legal loopholes and administrative oversight. In the end, the users suffer. But recently, there has been a pushback from governments. On Monday, France imposed a $1.3 million fine on Google. A government probe found that Google's hotel rankings were misleading. On the face of it, a fine looks like a punitive action, but for a company that churns out $180 billion in revenue, this fine barely makes a dent. So how do you rein in tech giants? Look at Australia. All set with a new draft law to force digital companies to pay for news. The law squarely targets Google, which played hardball initially and is now complying with the government. Google has struck a deal with Seven West Media. It will now supply content for Google's news showcase platform. For how much, it has not been revealed. But it is a step in the right direction. Tech giants have two important lessons to learn. Nothing in this world comes free of cost, and some things are simply not for sale, like human privacy. Bureau Report, we on World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.